Dark days are back in the Black Sea. Now the three-month deal to not blow up bolt-carrying ships has itself been scuppered. All bets are off. The grain will be grounded. Landlocked food supplies are just another price the world will pay for this war without end. This is an absolutely deliberate blockade by Russia. The pact for protected passage of Ukrainian and Russian ships was as much for global supply as it was for export earnings. The US and some at the UN are furious. There's no merit to what they're doing. The UN negotiated that deal and that should be the end of it. Ukraine doesn't concede for a minute that it provoked Moscow's peak with strikes on its navy. And if it did, that'd be yet further confirmation of the role unmanned aerial weaponry and surveillance is playing here. The war in Ukraine's been a testbed for new military technology. The expensive kit donated by NATO countries and neighbours, but also the cheaper, disruptive stuff in the hands of virtual amateurs in Ukraine. Now, this has pushed drone technology to the front line in ways we've barely seen before in full-blown combat. This ragtag outfit in eastern Krivi Ri was formed on Facebook. There are three guys in our unit with some army experience. There are people from the sciences, a professional musician, someone who made films about nature. There are engineers. Their mission? To get as close as possible to the front line, put the UAVs over Russian units and send the location coordinates to heavy hitters. This Russian soldier led them to six vehicles blasted only minutes later. In part crowdsource funded, it's deadly serious work, necessary as well as inventive, they say. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Krivi Ree.